Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central and today I want to show you a quick cool proof of concept app that someone made. We've seen Google Maps applied to Windows Phone 7 before because you can access the mapping APIs through uh, the Bing configurator here on Windows Phone. Someone took it a little step further uh, and they did it with Google Sky. Google Sky is basically the maps of the Sky version. Now on Android it's a really cool app of course. It's an augmented reality app that you hold up and it shows you where the stars are and planets are in space. This is nowhere near that, but it's still kind of cool because it's showing that it can access the same mapping. You'll see it right here. It's actually listed as Google Maps. Now this app won't be released publicly because Google doesn't allow public access, I suppose, I guess, to their uh, mapping system. You need to you know, do it through them. And in fact, you'll see a little error on here. But still, I want to launch it and just show you quickly what it kind of looks like. So, uh, you can see the invalid credentials. I believe that's the error, uh, why we can't technically use this. But it's kind of neat just to show you that it can be done. So down here you see all these different constellations, mostly because the sky map is so huge on here that it would be really hard to find anything on the phone. So it sort of does it for you. Now, of course, on a Google phone, you would just uh, you know hold it up to the sky and it would show you. But anyways, you can click the different you know constellations here. Now, this is actually over 3G. I probably should have thrown on the Wi-Fi, but you'll see it bring it down. There it goes. And, of course, you can zoom in and out. You can do the pinch and zoom. You can basically kind of zoom all over the place here in the sky, which is kind of interesting. We'll click another app, another star here. And you can see he put like a, a I think a shortcut, I think it was like 150 of them. And that one's pretty bright, I'll bring that one down. But like I said, this is just kind of neat, it's a neat proof of, proof of concepts. You can download the source files yourself and you have to compile it and load it, sideload it to your device. So this is pretty far from easy for most non-developers. But uh, for those who are interested in playing around with mapping on the phone, he gives you the directions on how this is done. So it's just kind of a neat thing. Hopefully someday we'll see Google actually bring over some apps to Windows Phone. But uh, until then, I guess we'll have to rely on people sort of doing this themselves. So there you go. Take care, everybody.